Welcome back to the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Minisodes podcast. I get so excited saying that, Amy. I love doing these shorter shows. I know, it's really fun. We get to be more ourselves because we're, it's a little less pressure to, to stick to what you know we promise we're going to give you guys in our longer episodes. I know, I know, it's really fun. One of the things that kind of drove this particular mini-sode was the fact that people are start, so for 20 years that I've had this business, people have always said, oh, Penny is the face of the company and I get it because I'm out there speaking and I'm writing books, et cetera. But when, and I've always, I always tease Amy about this, like when people start asking, you know, like, where's Amy? Is Amy going to call me? Or, you know, it, it makes me really, <laughs> it makes me really happy. But it's also, I think, one of the things that this podcast has also done is it's been really great for folks to know that it's not just me, like we have a team, we collaborate because Amy has specialties and I have specialties and together we create these really fun and exciting programs. And so today's show, we wanted to talk about the importance of a team. And I'm not talking about the team that you're hiring to do your website design or do your marketing or whatever. I'm talking about collaborating with other authors. So authors similar to your genre. And maybe you want to, let's say, swap newsletter announcements. So you have a, you have a book coming out and you're, you, you know, you're networked with four or five other authors who have active social media profiles or Facebook lists, whatever. And they will share your launch with their followers and then you will share it with, you'll share their launch with your followers. And that kind of give and take, that collaboration, I, I gotta tell you, I think I'm gonna write an article for our blog because I really think that there is, this is really the future of marketing. I mean, Amy, what do you think? Oh, I agree. I love the collaborative aspect because, you know, we did a, um, a great event, Penny, with some authors that are just so fabulous and listening to their ideas and just sitting there, you know, on that uh, webinar with them and talking about everything that everybody has going on and how much synergy there was and how they were doing a lot of things similar, but then they each had their own unique aspect. There's just so much to learn. And even in that small group, some of them had strengths in different areas than others. And what a great opportunity to to collaborate and get together and say, hey, she's got a really kick-ass Instagram page. Like, I want to do something with her where, you know, we can feature our stuff together on her Instagram. And my newsletter is just off the chain right now. And I want to do something for her in my newsletter. You know, get creative. Like, use your best assets. Use what you focused on and what you've done really well with your marketing and use that to sell yourself to other yeah. authors. Because at the end of the day, you know, I couldn't have done what I've done with this company without an amazing team. And I think that that team message, that whole team idea is, and should translate to authors. So if you're listening to this and you think, well, what do I do next? Start to get, you know, start networking with similar authors in your genre. And, you know, after you've done a little bit of networking with them and maybe share their posts or gotten to know them or maybe set up a call, set up your collaboration team because I just think it's such a great way to get, to take the load off of marketing, right? Because you each, each of you taps into a different market segment. I think that's so smart, Penny, because, you know, no reader is going to only read one author's work and that's just the reality. So it's, it makes so much more sense to not view other authors in your genre as competition and view them as ways to reach new readers. Because yeah. the reality is, you know, these voracious readers, they need multiple authors to follow, you know? So it doesn't have to be this like, oh no, you know, I don't want to share. It's like, no, you really should share. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? I want to leave you with this is 95% of books are sold word of mouth. That word of mouth is the author that you're networking with who has a very loyal following, who trusts everything that she says. That author is sharing it with her her, you know, her group or newsletter, whatever, and you're selling books because of that. And the same thing is true for you. You have a loyal following, et cetera. So I hope y'all start to build your collaboration teams because I'm telling you, it really is the future of book marketing. Thank you so much for tuning in to our webisode. We hope you enjoyed it. We love your ideas. Send us your ideas. Feel free to reach out to us uh, with feedback and we always love a review on wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.